So you know how there's been multiple times in your life when you have wished for something, when you have wanted and desired something, and you didn't know necessarily the how that was going to be executed or how it was going to happen or manifested, yet still you manifested it somehow, one way or another. Well, in today's video, we're going to be covering that fill in the blank between your current stage and your manifestations and how you can utilize basic techniques to magnetize and amplify your results when manifesting your desires. When we are manifesting, what are we filling in the blank with? It's sort of like that bridge in between your manifestation and you. What is that energetic bridge? Let's talk about needs versus desire and the energetic currency that both of them exchange. As everything is an exchange of energy, similarly to when you attune to a radio station, you know what you are tuning into, so you are continuing to connect to that specific frequency so that way you can receive the music that you desire to listen to. So similarly, we're going to have needs, we're going to have desires, but let's get clear on what desires and what needs are so that way we know what we are connecting to what type of energy we're attuning to as needs when we have a need we are signaling that we have a lack of something that lack can be energetic that lack can be material so if it's a material need you can be proactive and you can continue to take action so that way you can fill in the blank by obtaining that object. Now when it's energetic and we're signaling lack, we're going to continue to connect and attune to the frequency of lack. So we're going to continue to listen to lack, we're going to continue to get mirror back into our reality, the state of lack. Now, when we look at the energy of desire, desire is that connection, that feeling of connectedness to that wish that you have. We can continue to get signals that are indicating that we're mirroring that desire energy. So we're gonna be able to see it reflected in our reality by just going outside or by the type of uh, music that we listen to and there's some kind of message in there or there's some kind of indication in the different media that we connect to or when you're driving or when you're walking, it's going to be signaled back to you different than the energy and frequency of need desire it's a feel good energy and it can be playful and the more fun you have with it the faster it's going to continue to be reflected back into your reality now another thing that is important to be able to get clear on is the energy of being worthy and feeling worthy of your desires as if we look at our upbringings sometimes we were signaled uh, from our environment our parents that we should not desire certain things that we should not want to have certain things that it would be selfish or that there is not enough so that is when we have a debate and tug of war internally so that is only going to slow down our manifestations that's only going to continue to create a conflict if we do not feel that we are worthy of them so we need to reprogram our subconscious and feel that we are absolutely worthy of what we desire that there is absolutely abundance infinite abundance for everyone and the good thing about desires is that not everyone has the same desires not everyone has the same favorite color not everyone has the same favorite food not everyone likes the same type of person that is why when we attune to the frequency of abundance of what i desire desires me back even more there is this parallel that although we cannot see it with the human eye us that is masculine energy masculine energy is the seen what is tangible and the feminine energetics is the unseen it's the unknown it's what 
you cannot see with your eye, but you have to feel it internally first. So for example, when you wake up and you are thankful and feeling that state of gratitude, that you have a nice blanket, that you are able to wrap yourself around and that you hear the birds outside and it looks beautiful and it's a sunny day and you continue to feel in the blank with those feel good energies that is being in the present that is connected to your feminine energy so that way you continue to receive and feel and when you're feeling that connectedness then you're going to continue to receive and multiply more throughout your day and this is something that we have to practice daily and we have to make it normal to be able to not only feel good throughout your day so that way you continue to align to the frequency of what feels good to you and your subconscious is very very smart and knows what you want so the more that you feel good the more that you feel grateful the more that you're present and you're able to be not only able to be appreciative of your surroundings but you're in a state of being that reflects your gratitude to be in the present moment and an amazing book for this is the power of now there is so much power in the now as if we look in the past we cannot do anything about the past if we look in the future we cannot do anything about the future we can only plant seeds for the future but we cannot make them grow just like that so similarly when we are in the present we can be thankful for the lessons that we learned in the past and we can be also very grateful and looking forward to positive things that are going to continue to align for us in the near future it's sort of like when you're driving and you don't have great vision at night and you have to continue to trust and follow the two lines in front of you that you are going to continue to move forward and you're going to be safe even though you can't see anything else let's say it's one of those rainy nights and all you have to do is continue to follow and move through as long as you continue to move forward you know you're going to get to the destination so similarly when we are connecting to our desires when we are connecting to that energy that feels good and you feel that playfulness you're going to continue to feel more along the way and they feel kind of like a serendipity moment you can take them as a gift from the universe that there is more to come and the more that you can normalize that you're someone who gets to manifest your desires that is when you're going to continue to get more evidence of the powerful creator that you are and another tip that is very important to remember so that way we can flip it is that we believe that in order to be someone we have to first do something to then have something so they can finally we can be that that we wish to become when we actually have to start from the end we have to start from being so that way we can do something we get the inspired action and we are proactive that way we can have the end result and that way when you flip things around and you rearrange it that order you first connect to the state of being of the end fulfillment and you look at it almost as if you're looking in hindsight you're looking back and you connect and attune to that version of yourself that already knows what it takes to get there and is relaxed because it's already here it's already manifested and we connect to that desire from the end state the law of assumption states that all we have to do is assume that we already have exactly what we wish. So that way, the more that you exercise connecting to your future version, to the end result and feeling it as if it's already possible because it's already possible, you already have the evidence. And just like we were talking about at the beginning of the video, there's been times when you didn't know the how you were going to manifest something, yet it's still manifested and chances are that you were relaxed when it happened that it might have taken you by surprise but you had already planted the seeds beforehand 
and they were able to grow and manifest into physical form. And the beautiful thing about attuning into your future version and using it as training is that thanks to neuroscience, we know and it's been proven that the more that we connect and rehearse through our mind as if we are already living in that state, breathing in that state, our brain cannot differentiate between this reality when we open our eyes and what's going on in our minds. So the feeling, the desire is part of that secret sauce and continuing to have faith, faith and determination that you know that it's absolutely possible because not only you are worthy, you deserve it and it's meant to be part of your lifetime. What you desire desires you back even more. I hope that this was helpful and that you were able to get some great value out of this. And if you find that this can benefit someone that you know, please feel free to share. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more so that way you can get more videos that can continue to make a positive impact in your life as that is my wish for you. I wish you a beautiful and wonderful and positive day and I will see you in my next video. Take care.